I'm Jimmy Bissonette. We're sitting at my apartment in the south end of Boston. There's lots of open space. I have a huge kitchen and it's great for entertaining. We have uh, got, got this not too long after we moved in from one of the neighbors and we wanted to have a big island in here so we could have everything kind of centralized around it. So this is some of my records. These are the ones that I like to listen to more often. There you can find anything from swing to bossa nova to classic west coast jazz, east coast jazz, punk, hardcore, heavy metal, grindcore, country, and classic rock. So if anybody wants to listen to uh, Culture Club, you, you can, or Tom Petty, it's here. My Breville Smart Oven, I, we use this every single day from anything from toast to s s chicken wings and snacks. This is a, a Burkle Slicer that one of our regulars gave me a couple years ago. Uh, it's an original from the 50s, automated slicer. Hand crank, no electricity, still pretty sharp. My sous chef, we're gonna make some sausage in that tonight. Well, tonight I invited some of my friends from the neighborhood. Uh, they're gonna show up, you know, throughout the night and hang out, and we're just gonna cook a bunch of different things, make some ramen noodles. Um, I'm really excited to get all these, this crew together. We're all a bunch of really close friends, and we very rarely all get together at the same time, and it's gonna be pretty epic. So we've called this intervention today to... Uh... Most of my friends are in the restaurant business because if they're not in the restaurant business, we never have time to hang out. My friend Louis de Bacari, he's a you know, really well-known Boston chef. Um, my friend Will Gilson, who's also a chef in Cambridge. Will and I are starting a new trend tomorrow. Pizzelis. Yeah, foie gras with pizzelis. That sounds like it might be pretty good. My mother text messaged me the recipe today. Calls for jumbo eggs. <laughs> Whenever we have parties, it's kind of like, I never really think of what the menu's gonna be. So, you know, we'll just kind of start cooking and see what happens. I made a big broth, and I think I'm gonna make ramen noodles homemade, and we'll do like a miso ramen broth. So maybe we'll do some roasted chicken wings, pig's tails, we've got some foie gras and razor clams. The noodles I'm making tonight are gonna be a handmade noodle, uh, alkaline style noodle through an extruder and cut. My grandmother used to make this all the time. She called it spaghetti. Yeah, but you want to you want to mimic the same alkaline level because of the lake. That well, whatever, fuck you. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> fuck you. That's what you want to do. I make my own broth. Cleaned up my freezer. Got some uh, meat that was left over. Some lamb, some pork, a little bit of chicken. Uh, I had dashi left over, a mushroom dashi that was in the freezer also. So this is a true mise en place ramen, but not from the packet. Has Boston ever had a larger hard arm for one thing more than it does ramen right now? Ramen is starting to have a, a resurgence. Ramen is everywhere right now. I think just with everybody like reading about it, the social commentary, Lucky Peach, David Chang, like there's so many things talking about ramen, and so I think Boston is kind of trying to make up for it. And with you know Dave Chang and some really great chefs in New York, the guys at Apudo, really pushing the envelope and Hopper Ramen out in San Francisco. It's one of the best ramens I've had in the country. So we've seen a big resurgence of more ramen going on. You know, and part of the way I look at cooking is no apologies, no rules. You know, if there's a rule that says you can't mix, you know, cheese and seafood in an Italian dish, I don't care. If, if I think that that's going to go together, I want to. You know, if I'm breaking the rules to an Italian grandmother, absolutely. But I'm creating new rules that says flavor is what matters. So I think that naturally people are drawn together, whether it's a party or a family event around food. And that's why restaurants are so busy, and that's why people have dinner parties, and family meal is so important, whether it's your family at home after you've got to work, or it's your family at the restaurant when you're done working at the end of the night. That's what brings people together. Food makes people happy.